The Flipper Zero, the multi-tool of hacking, finally has a competitor. It's 2024 and we now have the M1 Monston Tech. This device is going to be directly aiming at the Flipper Zero. Pretty much looks like a copy, but is it really a carbon copy or is it going to be much more? Going side by side comparisons with even the trailer videos of these devices, it, you can see that there's a lot of similarities. I'm going to be splicing both videos uh, in here as you can see. Pretty much it seems like the M1 can do everything the Flipper Zero can do with the only difference being that it has a little bit better processor in it and that it seems like it has Wi-Fi uh, pen testing capabilities built into it. Um, almost like you're putting a Marauder board on the uh, Flipper Zero. Is that enough though to, for you to pick one of these up? Yeah, the price is going to be about the same. It looks like it's just under $170 for this device. Early access uh, to this device is $80. I'm going to be picking one of these up at some point. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any videos when this device gets released. I like that I'm going to be on the ground zero of this device as well. We're going to see a lot of things. Um, we're probably going to see some bugs at first. Um, they're going to see a community rally around this product, I believe, just like how the Flipper zero community rallied around the product and the other good thing about this is that now you have friendly competition you'd like to see that maybe the prices come down a little bit a little bit more competitive you don't have a monopoly anymore when it comes to these multi-tool hacking devices and at the end of the day you could make these devices but having just one device that has everything you need pretty much on the go is really nice and convenient i'm picking it up because i don't like carrying a flipper zero wi-fi module and uh, sometimes I need to take my uh, the authenticator watch with me and I just rather have just one device that has everything ready to go and uh, I can do without all the cartoon animations on the Flipper Zero as well but regardless still a great device it's a great proof of concept device and uh, I would like to see the M1 build off of that and uh, I'm really excited to see this type of competition out there and I think you should be as well it's only benefits the consumer at the end of the day this is also a giant opportunity for you if you want to make content for this device as well if you want to make software for this device, you want to make things on GitHub for this device, just like I have for the Flipper Zero, you can do that. It's going to be a brand new world for this thing, and uh, it would help you as well grow in the community. Um, I'm looking forward to it because I think these tools are really good for educational purposes, especially if you're one of those visual learners like I am. I really think this device is going to benefit you. You can keep this thing in your pocket, and you can learn on the go, or you can do it in everyday practices. You use a lot of use cases for these type of devices. I'm not really going to dive into too much more with this device because it's basically a Flipper Zero, but newer and modernized with a little bit more features added to it. And is it really worth the money if you already have a Flipper Zero? That's going to be up to you. Uh, Personally, for me, that little bit of extra is enough for me to make that investment. And also being on the ground floor, something new like this also is enough for me to make that investment. Hope you guys like this video. If you do, I'm going to be also picking this device up. So please subscribe, see future content when it comes to this M1, as well as other cybersecurity videos and tech gadgets and things like that. Really appreciate your time. I hope you guys have a good day. Remember, safety is an illusion, and I'll see you in the next one.